Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about this little amp right here. So before we get started, I just want to encourage you to look in the description below where you can find some links to my social media. Also, be sure to subscribe. I post weekly guitar videos and music stuff in general and sometimes some goofy stuff. Let's do it. Firstly, I'm just going to talk about what you get when you buy this amp. What's included inside and everything like that. So, uh, first off, this front facing you see here, basket weave, that's amazing. Uh, you can get this in this normal thing or you can get it in black. Also, this logo on the front, it is awesome. Um, nice logo on the back too, power cord right there, along with the power switch. On the top, you see here, you have three band EQ, treble, middle, bass, you have overdrive, gain, volume, a headphone input, and then your regular input. Now, there is no speaker input in the back, um, so mostly this amp is just going to be something that you have at home. This amp right here is the smallest of the Crush models, the full Crush models. Uh, it's great, same as the other amps, just smaller. This is a great starter amp for anybody uh, starting out or uh, if you're a more serious player and you're looking for something, I mean this is a great amp to have around your house. It handles pedals really well. Uh, it can deal with jazz sounds, it can deal with rock sounds. Um, heavy metal, even some, so um, it packs a nice punch even though it is small. Um, and so, we'll get into a little bit of that later. Everything in this amp runs off an analog signal, which in a digital age, that is awesome to know you still can get analog stuff out there. Uh, Orange is great, I recommend it, they are great. Uh, the headphone is a cab sim, so basically uh, it simulates a cab sound whenever you plug in your headphones into it. Uh, six inch speaker here, and the whole weight of this thing, 10 pounds, which is great. So, uh, now let's just talk about what I think about it. So about a month ago, my buddy Caleb got this amp for Christmas, and I saw him and was like, hey, you should let me do a review video about that thing. And he's like, here you go, and I'm like, Thank you. I'll be sure to give it back. Yeah, definitely gonna give this right back to you and not steal it. No. So, um, so I took it and here I am doing a review video about it. It's a great amp. Uh, you can get a lot of cool sounds out of it. You can really push the volume out there, but also if you don't want to blow everyone out of the house, scare your cat, make him run away, then the headphone option is there. Now, uh, I'm going to run it through an SM57 into Logic Pro, uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing, but through the headphone output. So I'm not going to use the SM57, I'm just going to run through the headphone output into Logic Pro, so you get what it sounds like uh, through the amp being mic'd, and then you get what it sounds like through the headphone jack. Uh, so both are very different sounds, both are awesome sounds, uh, and so let's do it.
Again, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, subscribe, support the content, and I'll see you next time.